to be able to search for symbols globally throughout the whole project, I'm going to use space ss shortcut. The common name is show all symbols. And what it's going to allow us to do is to open up such window. And from here we can choose any constant function method definition and navigate to this place where it's defined. So it's in some way similar to one command that we have previously reviewed that allows us to search for a symbol within one particular file. Next one, I'm going to define keyboard shortcut to open up command palette. Even though we already have default keyboard shortcut to open up command palette in VS Code, which is command shift P on macOS or control shift P on Windows. But if you prefer Vim style shortcut, you can define it as well. So if I'll press space SA, I'm going to open up command palette. Another very common feature of VS Code is opening up palette with all the files and folders. I'm going to use space SF to open up quick search for files or folders. By default, VS Code uses command P on macOS or control P on Windows to open up this palette. So in addition to that, we can also press space SF and we'll get the same window with list of files. Now I'm going to add a couple more shortcuts that will let us open up inline editor where we'll be able to see definition of a particular symbol, function definition, method definition, and so on. So space VD is going to be responsible for opening up inline editor with definition. Space VI will show the same inline editor with an implementation, for example, implementation of an abstract method. And finally, one more shortcut, which is space VT will open up the same inline editor with the definition of the particular type on which we had our cursor before pressing this shortcut. All right, now let's try it out. I'm going to switch over to view component and let's say I want to quickly check definition of the timeline, our component. So instead of opening up file with this component definition, I can press space V D. And there we go, we get additional window where we can see implementation of this component. Let's try it out one more time. I'm gonna press space VD and we get this editor. Of course, it is possible to also use it with types. So if I'll put my cursor on top of the type and press space VT, I'll get the same inline editor with type definition. Now let's try one more shortcut to see definition of the function. Let's put the cursor on this function reset timeline item activities and press space V I. And right away we're seeing the definition of this function without having to open up new tab with this file. Next, sometimes it's very useful to see quick documentation for the particular symbol. And I'm going to define keyboard shortcut, which will be space V H, which will show that hover with some additional information of the particular symbol. It's kind of like floating documentation, so if I'll put my cursor on any element and press space VH, we're going to see such floating window. And it works with almost every symbol. Next one, if we'd like to see where that particular symbol is used throughout the whole code base, I'm gonna add the following shortcut, space FR, which is going to show the list of all the places where the particular symbol is referenced. Now if I'm gonna press space FR, right away we get this side panel with the list of all those files where generate activity select options function is used. And we can navigate through this list and press enter to jump into the particular place. And finally, let's add one more shortcut in this lesson, which will be pretty similar to the previous one. It will also show list of places where a particular symbol is used, but instead of opening up side panel, it will let us see all usages in line. I'm gonna use space sr, and the common name in this case is reference search.trigger. So let me put my cursor on top of some function, for example, stop timeline item timer, and we're seeing such inline editor with a list of places where this particular function is being called or defined. In other words, where this particular function name is referenced. Let's try it out one more time. I'm gonna press space SR and we got inline editor 
with list of references. Link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.